missed the um, first shot. These are H&N Excite Econ 2 and shooting at 25 yards from a HW100. Uh, right to left breeze and it's gusting a bit. Okay, well that's um, a 10 shot. I'm sorry I messed up in the middle and managed to touch the screen or the phone and uh, send it off. Um, so that was 10 shots anyway and I think you can see that um, they're grouping uh, very nicely. Uh, they're shooting at 837, average 836 um, with a spread of 7 over a 10 shot group. Nothing wrong with that. Um, for um, an absolute um, bargain basement pellet, um, these are shooting very nicely. Thank you. Okay, here's that target from the um, Excite Econ 2. And if I lay that in there, um, I think you see that's around just over 11 millimeters center to center. And here for comparison is a, um, a UK five pence piece. And you can see it um, completely covers that group very easily. Okay, here's uh, a second test of the H&N Econ 2. Excite Econ 2. Um, these are a, a lightweight flathead pellet that um, I have actually for pistol shooting for 10 meter shooting. But I thought I'd try them today in the HW100 sub 12, um, which is um, right up there at the um, near the 12 foot pound limit with. Um, with my regular pellet JSB Exact 8.44. I believe these um, HNN Excite Econ 2 are around 7.9 grains. So I've just quickly um, rolled them in a bit of lube and we'll shoot a 20 yard target. There's a gusting um, right to left wind. Whoa. That's the first um, flyer I've had. And uh, I didn't examine these. just occurred to me that with these flat heads it's quite possible that I've um, loaded it backwards. So I think we'll discount that flyer.
Okay, that's um, 20 shots. If I it's 21, but I'll discount that, that flyer. Here's that second um, group for the XIT Com 2 at 25 yards, and I think that's around. Fifteen and a half millimeters center to center. Again, I put a five pence piece in there, and it easily covers the whole group. And it's just that old um, flyer that uh, I didn't really get explained. I don't know what happened there. I wasn't paying any particular attention. I was just loading these. Um, they came straight from the tin about, apart from being rolled in a little pellet perfect LT1 lube and I didn't even allow the lube time to dry um, and then put them straight through the HW100. Okay, the, um, the H&N Econ 2, uh, Excite Econ 2, performed surprisingly well um, at 25 yards so I thought I'd um, push it out now to a target of 40 yards um, and we'll see how much um, the group opens up. Now given that these are a lightweight flathead uh, pallet paper punching pallet uh, which I bought for um, CO2 pistol shooting um, I'm now shooting them through the uh, HW100. Okay, here we go, new string. 840. 837. Okay, there's a um, right to left wind which is dying down to uh, very little. 842 837 833 Whoa. That was a flyer. 844 837 837 840 835 837 823 837 837 837 840 837 840 837 I'm not sure whether actually whether it's a weasel or a stoat. It's um, a mid-brown colour with a very distinct white tip to its tail. Has just gone across um, the range down beyond the 40-yard target. It's now come up. And it's in the grass um, nearby. I can see it. Okay, here's the 20 shot group of um, Excite Econ 2, this time fired at 40 yards. And there's a couple of outliers. There's one there and one there, uh, which I haven't really explained. Um, and then I'm reckoning centre to centre about 17.5 millimetres. 
five pence piece won't quite cover this one, but there it is sitting on that group, just those outliers. Um, so I think a very respectable performance at 40 yards for a pallet that's not designed to go anywhere near that far. It's a flathead designed to be shot at close range. Uh, here's the Excite Econ 2 from H&N in Germany. Seven four six, seven point four six grain. Seven point four eight grain. 7.54 grain, 7.52 grain, Seven five four. Seven five eight. Seven five six. So there's ten, and I'll do the average. Seven five four. 